one. Floor it! Ah! Oh my! What is up my shredheads? Welcome back to the channel. On today's video, we are at the DC Electrify Expo and I'm actually gonna be a judge in a biker build off. Before we get started on this video, if you guys do wanna support the channel, check out all those links down below. There might be a bike you like. Let's keep an eye on all this stuff. We're gonna be voting on the best custom built e-bike out of all of these. That Onyx is looking pretty sick. What the heck is that? That's badass. My dream car literally right there, the whole setup. 10 on the back. Let's go, Rivian, hook it up. What in the world? What's going on? Both of ours were white. Okay. Like just stock, right? Yep, I remember those. So we took them, stripped them all down, got them painted. You know, we just did a bunch of like, you know, easy accessories, put nice scripts on them. Yeah. Put battery operated light, headlight, tail light. So like I had to custom machine to put nice foot pegs on. Oh, that looks awesome. Um, and then <laughs> also did a machine plate back here. So I okay. pulled that out so that wow. you can put the batteries on there. That's really solid. Um, and then I did another bushing in the frame so that I can run the batteries in there. Damn, it's very clean looking. Yeah. What's right. up, Feedy? Hey. Oh. Check that out, guys. That's the other jackrabbit I was talking about. What's up, man? My name is Shreddy. Nice to meet you. What's up, brother? Good to finally meet you, man. Nice to meet you. So that's all salt, all salt dynamics. You guys made a battery for this, too? Damn, this is a motorcycle. What's the top speed you guys gotten on it so far? I think 90 to 110. This bike will be able to This is level one. This is normal. And this is sport. You can feel the wind from that. This is sport, though. <laughs> okay, we definitely can't walk by this thing. It's nothing too crazy. Like, it's still stock suspension. Yeah. It's our wheels. Uh, inside, back 8,000. Our battery, 42 and power, 72 volt high discharge rate. This is something that is very rare. You're extending frame and lifting cup seats. Oh, so that's going to be so much so, more comfortable. So look this. This is supposed to be here. Okay, yep, yep. So we have extended, instead, instead of having extended swing arm, we have extended this part. From the and frame. And also plus this. No matter what you're doing with a throttle, yeah. bike is down. Oh, your is here instead yes. of four on the back. How much power are you pushing out of this In bike? this moment, only 14 kilowatts. 14 kilowatts. With fuel weakening around 25. 25, okay. And last night, with my weight, I smoked all of my guys. Stock motor too, Stock wow. Motor. Look at this. I can feel the heat. The seat feels nice and flat. Mm -hmm. Like it doesn't feel like, like on my Sauron, it keeps on scooting me here and I scoot back and it scoots me back. Look how little it is. Bro, you guys have all the fun toys, man. Dude, this is making me want like a mini moto surround like this. Cool thing about this bike, this bike glowing in the dark. What? This part and this part, you can see already. It's yeah, this one's already looking green. Exactly. Glow in the dark paint. Let's see if D can fit on. So D's five foot two, and this would be like the first surround I've ever seen her sit on. So this is an exciting moment. <laughs> What? Be on a Suron. <laughs> we got to get her a Suron. That's that's our next purchase. Another Suron. This is something special, special. It has a uh, 72 volt, 51 amp power, and you can see through. So this battery is actually uh, poured in uh, epoxy. Oh, that is awesome. Whoa. And you can see through this. Under here, it's a controller from Onyx. Okay. 300 amps. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This bike picking up easy wheelie anytime. It's three kilowatt QS motor, 3T. What's the top speed that you've seen on this so 55, far? 55, 55? 57. Woo! This bike was on a group ride not too long ago. She upgraded a 72 volt battery. She's got a 5,000 watt motor back here. And this thing goes about 67 miles an hour now, guys. Probably the craziest Tesla I've ever seen. That's amazing. Now they're setting up the bikes for the judging for this biker build off. I can't wait to see who is the winner. Guys, comment down below which one of these bikes is your favorite one. Which one would you vote to be the winner out of all these? We just made it to the Hobscope booth, and you guys remember I have the Hob Alpha from then. I had a good time riding that bike with the torque sensor. We're gonna try out that little step through cargo bike style. I'm probably not gonna pedal too much, but all right, let's try this thing out, guys. Oh, wow. A little torquiness. Whoa, this thing's definitely got some good torque. And like always, their brakes always feel really good. Oh yeah, I could probably wheel it. Definitely a nice, comfortable riding position. Nice and straight up with these like 
ape hanger style looking bars. Also nice having the throttle on the left side so I can control the rear brake with my right hand. Dude, oh, right there, I felt the limiter kick on. So it kicks in around 19 to 20 miles an hour. My guess on the top speed on this would be around 25 to 28 miles an hour with a limiter kicked off. The guys, if you are looking for the Hofsco Hofcat, check out that link down below. This is one of the carbon wheels. Uh, gloss weave carbon frame so it's really light how heavy is the frame like total with the battery and everything about 38 pounds 38 pounds okay oh wow that's light hey where's the battery in this it's a 36 volt system yeah exactly 36 volts yeah oh wow oh that's so small you can carry like 10 of those in your book bag guys comment down below what are your thoughts on the go cycles so no throttle at all right or uh, you can program it with our oh. app to a throttle only no way we are on uh pedal assist three right now oh there it goes it took about one full rotation to actually feel it and it it is a torque sensor so it's going to give you what you're pushing into it i'm about six feet tall and this thing does feel pretty comfortable pedaling it let's actually push it oh my god <laughs> i was wondering why i was going so slow is because i wasn't pushing the pedals as hard definitely has really good long crank arms too on it i can literally lift it with my arm like work out with it <laughs> should i ride it on a course or just kind of <laughs> ride on the course but oh man <laughs> before you accelerate push off and coast first <laughs> <laughs> which way am i going i'm going this way i can't stop this is way harder than i thought it was <laughs> Shit, my oh god i hit a pothole oh my god the torque on this is crazy i'm not even full throttle in it whoa that was full throttle that was full throttle that was crazy okay <laughs> <Woo! laughs> this is a two swift board this is feedy's board that they are souping up but just a little bit guys look at this it's a freaking like e-bike golf cart what in the world that was awesome. that? i love it dude that is so cool i'm gonna Ooh, try this right? thing out man i'm okay, trying this wait, thing wait. out before you go did you hear what happened to chavez the seat is very comfortable level three it like holds your ass level three okay you're gonna get speed like a stock okay but acceleration five times better zero to 30 three to four seconds is this oh, the one you almost died on no it's that one so stay off of that <laughs> <laughs> look look i got banged up just the tiniest throttle semi fly. Oh my god, this dude. Fine. Damn, the tires are fat. It's a shreddy video, so we're going straight up to Mo 5. Oh wow. The smoothness of the throttle. Holy crap. And the weight feels so different with the big fat tires like turning on it. It feels like almost like it wants to keep you upright. Oh my goodness. <laughs> That is some freaking power. <laughs> and the Magura brakes so good. I'm pretty used to surrounds. Yes, Tell them what you did. Not so tall though. Oh, the GLE app. You guys know if you guys are interested in the GLE app, check out that link down below. Use code TREDDY, 5% off your order. <laughs> are you freaking kidding me? <laughs> the response on a throttle is intense. Oh, <laughs> yo, gives me the whoopies, bro. <laughs> bro, one more pull. One isn't enough. Dude, no, no, no. <laughs> hey. That's all I wanted to do is try a bike. I was trying to tell you to slow down. <laughs> yeah, I was giving him the X, but no. Hello. It's a Cyber X, man. Uh, this is the first time I saw the Cyber X in person. Yeah, I told him. Judging the bikes? Yep, yep, yep. We're gonna, we have some down there too. Oh, what? There's yeah. more? Yeah. These are awesome. I got some uh, Porsche inspired um, tartan fabric. What are you running here? It's a factory motor. Really? Yeah. What the hell? <laughs> it looks so neat. Great work, dude. I love it. Love it, love it, love it. Check this out, guys. They're actually doing custom pinstriping here. Look at that. So which way do we go to get out? Yeah, how do we get out of here? That way. Day one at Electrify Expo was a success, and we'll see you tomorrow for day two. Just getting back to the Mata Hotel. If you guys are ever here in the DC area, make sure you stop by. Tell them Shreddy sent you. 
Hi, baby. Day two on the Electrify Expo, and uh, we're gonna be doing the final voting and judging of all the e-bikes that we like, or the two e-bikes that we like. This is a Mach-E GT Performance Edition. All the X means is that it has an extended range battery on it. Oh, okay. So this awesome. Oh, uh, there we go. Yeah, yeah. Wow, this thing is comfortable. How do we go? <laughs> Turn your dial to drive. What? There's a dial? Put on the gas. All right, so one, two, drive. And does this have like regen um, when I hit the gas and just let go, it'll start slowing down? Yes. Okay. All right. I think I'm ready. Scoot. <laughs> I'm not used to brakes. I ride a lot of e-bikes. I rarely drive, so this is definitely uh, something new. Are you give it a little bit? Oh, my God. That was good. That wasn't even floored. Like, it was like... <laughs> that much squeeze, dude. See the middle engage, hit the unbridle. Yeah. Unbridle is what guys like that. Oh my god. Ball. It's like sporty. Yeah. <laughs> what? How does it do that? What? Sorry, guys. <laughs> there we go, guys. Oh my god. Sorry, sorry, sorry. <laughs> Even I felt the whoopies on that one. <laughs> like, you know what I'm saying? Like, when you go down a roller coaster, it's like, yippee. Yeah. We need an electric car. <laughs> the instantaneous power. It's <laughs> like the best feeling ever. It's awesome. Look, I didn't even touch the brake at all, D. And that's called like regenerative braking. So it does give you a little bit more power into the battery. It saves you all on, on your brake pads for sure. What do you think about this car, D? You like the way it feels? Yes, love it. Yeah. <laughs> do you like the panoramic room? Oh yeah, look at that. I didn't even see that. Thanks oh my God. That, <laughs> that is bad, I love that. Got it. Are you guys ready? Hold, Three, hold on for dear life. Two, one. Oh! <laughs> It never gets old, that, that feeling. Martin! <laughs> What's up, Martin? Hey! <laughs> How is it? Great. It, it's so much fun. Run into that guy. Yeah. <laughs> From Detroit. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> he got me, bro. He got me. He did that on purpose. So impressed with this car. I think I might have to get me one of these. Why? Wow, you got me good. <laughs> he no, got me. No, no. <laughs> <laughs> Could you guys see this thing in the Shreddy McSkate future or not? Check that out. Oh, that's where the windshield wiper fluid goes. With that moonroof that is really cool, you can fold these seats down and actually like maybe put like a little sleeping bag in there, camp out in here. So the Ford experience isn't done. Next, we're gonna hop in the Ford Lightning. So I can't wait to get in this thing and gun it and see how the power feels. Supposedly this has more power than the last car we hopped in. So super excited to feel the power of this Ford Lightning. Oh yeah, this is a lot bigger, a little more spacious too in here. Ooh, this one feels a lot more like just comfy. Like you don't feel the road at all. Yeah, you could put like three e-bikes in the back, slap a rack on there, two e-bikes on there. All right, last time I got the whoopies. Here comes the whoopies again, guys. You guys ready? Three, two, one. Oh my, <laughs> oh my God, that's crazy. Every single time, I'm telling you guys. Hold on, there's something blowing on my back and my butt. That is a ventilated seat. That what? That feels so good. <laughs> Especially on, uh, you know, the... <laughs> Should we try a different mode? Yeah. Yeah, there's a little difference in, in the, the steering, steering. handling and, and uh, reaction to the throttle. Let me feel that. So normal feels a little looser. Yeah. Yeah, sport's like super tight. You hear the sound? That sounds cool. Yeah. It has uh, hands-free driving. Oh. Um, Blue Cruise, but it's only on divided highways. Okay. Yeah. Look at that, no brake. I didn't even touch the brake there. How many miles does this one have total? It, it, it has a 320 capacity. 320? This one definitely had more power than the Mach, than the Mach-E. Yeah, it's rated 580 horsepower. There's a little button here, he said. Oh, yeah, push the silver button. Okay. Yeah. No way. <laughs> I did not expect to see that happen. What? I'm definitely digging the Lightning. This thing is awesome. We're going to hit the front button, I think. There it goes. So that was a Ford Lightning, guys. Let me know what you think about this thing down in the comments. I had a blast driving it. Oh, wow. That's a way bigger front than any front I have ever front. <laughs> We're about to hop into the Model S Plaid Series, the fastest production car ever sold right here. And we are going to drive it, guys. I feel like I got to hold these chains here. Oh, my goodness. Look at that steering wheel. That is awesome. Feels like an airplane. <laughs> I'm so used to like a full steering wheel. I went to grab a pier. I did one of these. Drive, you see that on the left hand side, you're going to swipe up. So now you're in drive. Are you and kidding then me? You're going to swipe down to be in reverse. And 
then you're gonna Whoa. Push hard. Oh man. So Oof. You're ready, okay. We're all good. I'm ready, I think. <laughs> Whoa. Once you go plaid, you never go back. Are you guys ready for launch? All right, I'm gonna floor it to the ground. Is that cool? Yep, you're gonna floor it, and I'm telling you, it's gonna, it's gonna go fast. Oh my god, all right, all right, all right, getting ready for it. All right, three, two, one. Oh my god, that is the, yo! Oh my god, that is the, yo! We only went to 40, so that was I felt the blood in every part of my body rush, like everywhere. I can't even, like my toes, my, that was crazy. Whole, I keep on grabbing. Oh my God. Wow, I want to do that one more time because that's like a drug. Oh my God. This is the most powerful car I've ever been in in my entire life. All right, are you guys ready again? Whew. Oh man, I don't think I'm ready. Three, two, one. Floor it. Oh my God. I keep yelling stop, sorry guys. Bro. Is this all the reactions you get all the time? Yeah. Oh my I mean, I, god. I Guys, that's literally the most power I've ever felt. Probably the most G-force I've ever felt in my entire life. <laughs> I need one of these. I can't breathe at all. It's just like Oh my pressure. god. How do I signal? Yeah, it's, it's gonna be on the steering wheel. What? Right where you're oh. Going. Damn, Tyler, you got to do 120 on this thing. <laughs> oh, I want to feel From that. Like zero to 120? And held it. So that feeling of you wanting to stop, he kept going past that. That's pretty cool. Oh look, it beeped. Yep. That told me to go. So check this out. If you're sitting in the back seat, you have your own little entertainment back there. Wow guys, that was the craziest feeling I've ever had in my entire life driving a car like this. It's like a roller coaster. So check this out guys. We've got the 19s on the front, 16s on the back, and the back. Look how beefy that tire is. That's crazy. Let's get on it. Check this thing out. I'm so excited to try it out. It's like a real dirt bike, guys. The first thing I think about is wanting to wheelie this. It's like a little bit bigger than a Suron, but wow. Okay, I can feel the regen breaking on the roll off. Yep. Oh, the spring on the back feels just like a regular motorcycle. All right, let's open it up. Oh my God, bro. And the throttle control feels so smooth. <laughs> Oh man, the suspension is a dream. Calfin, I need you in my life. So this is a Calfin F80. Jeez, guys. If you guys ridden one of these before, definitely comment down below. Let me know what we think about this thing. The power. Oh, oh my God. Guys, this is the coolest electric dirt bike I've been on in a while. <laughs> Let's go! You can get a street legal pass and it comes to you if you approve. No way! You can get this street legal, guys! Again, comment down below. Let me know if you guys want to see this in the Shreddy lineup. I definitely could see myself whipping one of these around, maybe throwing a tag on it, getting registered. I get the present. <laughs> The best e-bike of show presented by Shreddy is gonna be is gonna go out to AJ Velasco, Super 73. Yeah. Woo! Congrats, bro! <laughs> Here you go. Thank you. Next award is gonna be best motorcycle, also presented by Shreddy, and it's gonna be Calvin. Want me to look pretty too? I guess. So they're not here. <laughs> That's the orange one. Shreddy, you take it. Yes. Picture, picture, picture. That's sick, dude. Thank you, brother. <laughs> Electrify Expo Day Two, 90 degree day. How are you feeling, D? Did you have Great. fun today? Yeah. Fun. That was a lot of fun. Being able to ride in all those electric cars, that was such a blast. Guys, let me know down in the comments which one of the electric vehicles that we drove today is your favorite. I hope you guys like all the e-bikes that won in the competition, the biker build-off. And thank you Electrify Expo for having us. Can't wait for the next one in New York. If you guys are in New York, definitely check out the Electrify Expo for all your PEV electric vehicle needs. If you guys do want to support the channel, check out all those links down below. There might be a bike you like. And as always, if you guys enjoyed that content, please consider subscribing, hitting that like button, and ringing that, and ringing that notification to be notified when I'm making videos. And are you guys ready for the moment of silence for the subscribe button? In three, two, one, hit subscribe, heads down. All right, guys, I'll see you in the next expo. <laughs> this is a first, dude. <laughs> Can I get down like this and go faster? <laughs>